Hello, IML students. Today, we're going to talk about the three types of analysis. Before we get started, here's a little bit about myself. My name is Adeze Duncan, representing iMarkets Live. Some of you may know me from Forex 101 on IML TV. Also, I was an educator for 10 years, and now I'm here educating you on the facts and methods of Forex. In order to get started on this journey, you need to remember one thing and one thing only. I am a student, always. This is very important for you to remember and to remind yourself of often. You will hear me use this phrase frequently as a reminder that you are a student that is learning a skill that will pay you for the rest of your life. Make sure that you take your time and learn what you need to learn. Pace yourself. Do not compare yourself to anyone else's progress. Always keep a winning mind frame and you will do very well in this industry. Upon finishing this video, you should have a very good understanding of the following questions. Read through them quietly to yourself. As you are taking notes, make sure to pause this video in order to answer these questions. One of the first types of analysis that I'm going to talk to you about is technical analysis. I'm not going to get into any of these in deep detail, not right now, that's to come later. But right now, what you need to know about technical analysis is this is the type that is used by traders to study price movements. It's more, um, it, it involves more of a technical, that's why they call it technical, but it involves more of a technical, um, scientific even, you know, way of studying you're actually looking and drawing and looking for patterns you're drawing lines you're using different tools to mark you know and make i you know make um, notes of where you think price might go traders usually study historical price movements in other words they like to look at the past to determine where price could go this goes back to looking at patterns so you anytime you see price getting marked up or charts getting marked up they're talking about technical analysis Technical analysts typically like to use things like charts, indicators, price patterns. So all of this drawing up your charts, support and resistance, all of that, those are tools of technical analysts. People that like to use Fibonacci tools, all of the, you know, all different types of tools, indicators, you know, um, Bollinger Bands, moving averages. Those are all things that we'll get into at another time in more depth, but those are all tools of a technical analyst. What we teach here is mostly skills in technical analysis. It's very powerful. It's very useful. It leads to very high probability trades. On its own, it is capable of finding high probability trades. So that is what we teach. That's what technical analysis is. It's typically you drawing up your charts. You would actually have to look at a chart to find out what your or to make your, you know, make your bias. Then we have fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis is a type of analysis that includes political, social, economical news to gauge how the market will do along with country's potential economic outlook. So as you see in my picture in the background, fundamental analysis centers around news, you know, rumors and whatnot. Um, that is fundamental analysis. How is the market doing? What is projected to happen? What's going on in the economy? What's happening politically? Wise. What's happening socially wise? What are, you know, what interest rates are going up or down or all around? How is the unemployment looking? How is the shopping looking? All of that good stuff. All of that has to do with fundamentals. All right. Um, a lot of times if a country is not going to do well, then their currency shouldn't do well. If their country is doing well, then possibly the, um, the currency will do well. Fundamental analysis alone is not going to be enough for you to be successful. You would want to pair fundamental analysis with technical analysis to be successful. It is not going to lead you down the path of, you know, milk and honey if you do it by itself. But it's very helpful and it can give you a lot of insight in what the charts are doing. So using them in conjunction could be very beneficial to you. There are various tools that you can use to help you or assist you with your fundamental analysis. Some of them are checking out Bloomberg TV. You know, there's an actual TV station for Bloomberg. Or you can go to Bloomberg.com. They also have an app.